everybody. This is your daily dose of all things royal. Well, well, well. It looks like Archwell Public Charity is set to receive an award for advocating for Afghan refugees and providing generous financial support. The PR machine has been in full effect as we are being flooded by this wonderful news. Let's take a look at what sugary sweet nonsense they're saying today. According to the Daily Mail, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to be honored along with their Archwell Foundation for their work advocating for Afghan refugees. The couple, who will not receive the award in person, are also being thanked for their generous donation to the Human First Coalition. Archwell Foundation Executive Director James Holt will be receiving the Partner Organization Award on their behalf at an event next week in New York. This is the book that's going to keep on giving. Let's go back to Chapter 42. The last sentence in this paragraph, The charity's finances remain shrouded in mystery, but its prime purpose was clear, publicizing the Sussexes. And they're using the public's money to do this. We all need to look back at the Christmas card that was sent out in 2021. On there was listed the Human First Coalition. Once again, they're grifting off the backs of people and taking credit for giving this money when it was actually their donors who gave this money. Because as you can see, they had donated to these charities on your behalf. Harry and Meghan didn't put their hand in their pocket to give money to the Afghan refugees. So this award is bogus. And another thing, too, the people who donated did not even know that they were supporting Afghan refugees at the time because this was the first time anybody heard that they were supporting these kinds of organizations from a financial perspective. If people are donating under the impression of the causes that they had put up on their website, such as female empowerment, technology, other nonsense that they put up there, this was a total blindside to the public. And I do believe that the IRS should be informed of the lack of transparency that this public charity, because they are classified as a public charity, they must disclose this information to the public, and they haven't. This is all just another PR branding exercise, but it's actually more dangerous. And here's why. As I have been saying over and over, this couple is targeting the youth. And according to this article, Geo Magazine writes, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been put on blast for attempting to work out an obsessive campaign for overtaking American perceptions. Royal Expert issued this claim during his interview with the Daily Star. Mr. Schiffer stated, it all off by pointing out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's plan to win back the American population. He was quoted saying, I think Harry and Meghan have made an obsessive campaign to win the hearts and minds of young Americans. They have done a superb job at zeroing in in a political sense on issues that are most meaningful and present themselves as champions in ways that have convinced Gen Z and millennials that they are advocates. That's what you call grooming. Do you want the future to be groomed by these two liars and manipulators? These are the questions that I'm asking myself, and the answer is no, absolutely not. Now, all of this is my opinion based off of what's out there in the media that they're pushing out, by the way. I have the right to comment on it, and this is how I feel. I encourage everyone to do their own research and come to your own conclusion, but keep your eyes open. All right, enough about those two and their toxic world. Let's end this video on a positive note and talk about William and Catherine and their charity. Announced today in the Daily Mail, the royal couple Prince William and Kate Middleton's charity has gone from strength to strength since their split with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. New figures show. According to 2021 accounts, the income for the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge stands at £20.4 million. This was marked increase on the 2019 figure, which stood at only £6.7 million. Charity Commission figures show that the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge received at total of 
19.9 million pounds in donations and legacies and spent 15.1 million pounds on charitable activities. Funds are also used for projects such as Prince William's Earthshot Prize, which awards one million pound grants to winners. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. William and Kate inspire me to want to be better, just in everything that they do and, and the way that they conduct themselves, genuinely want to help others in the world. And that shines through. They don't have to have a publicity team create and fabricate stories for them. It just happens. And I think that what they're doing is going to make a huge impact on this world. And I'm here for it. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. It was such a broad. <laughs>